Uh, just a quick video today to talk to you a little bit about my new pouch that I'm making. You've seen this bit. This bit's been on my blog. This is the finished side. Um, I've made it in two halves. The only reason, so it would fit on my small damp stretching board. I have a huge damp stretching board that I can put on the table or on the floor, but sometimes late at night I can't be bothered getting that out. So to fit on my small damp stretching board, this is about as big as it can be really. So, and then I'll join them together. So I finished that one and then I started this one yesterday. So I've just put this together, it's very basic at the minute. And I made some more of this lace on the machine. Um, and I'm gonna use this to embellish the surface. So basically it's just four pieces joined together. And then I've put a little bit of this lace on here underneath a nice trim. And there's minimal embroidery on at the minute. I've got French knots down there and buttonhole lace up there and that's secured with a few French knots. So the plan is to join them together when this second bit's finished. So I'll have to play about with it where to lay the different pieces, what should go next to what and stuff. And then I'll join them together and it will eventually become another pouch. And I don't think I'll be keeping this one for myself. Um, but you know, I'll see how we go. You can only have so many pouches. So I need to put like more embellishment on here, obviously. I've just noticed I've got a hole there, I don't know why. Like it's been snipped with the scissors. Um, so I'm gonna have to put something on there to cover that. So the rest of the day, um, or more probably the evening actually, is gonna be adding other bits to this section. So I just thought you'd like to see a comparison of the finished half and the half that's just started now with just one little bit of embroidery on it and the lace that I made to help me embellish this surface.